Schubert's Choice by Dr. Becky A. Bailey. Hooray, hooray, it's a glorious day. Hooray, hooray, I love to play. Schubert sings as he plays with toys in his room. Time to get dressed for school. Schubert's mom, Sarah, shouts from the kitchen. Schubert continues to play and sing his song. Hooray, hooray, it's a glorious day. Hooray, hooray, I love to play. Soon, Sarah peeks her head into Schubert's room to check on his progress. She sees him in his underwear playing on the floor. She takes a deep breath and focuses on what she wants him to do. She says with excitement, Schubert, you have a choice. You can wear the blue shirt with the S or you can wear the green shirt with the S. Which one will you pick today? The blue shirt with the S, responds Schubert. Good for you, blue it is, Schubert's mom says as she tosses him the blue shirt. As he slips on the shirt, Schubert begins to sing a song about all kinds of words that begin with S. S is for Schubert, Schubert starts with S. S is for Sophie, Sophie starts with S. S is for Silly, Silly starts with S. Then Schubert begins making silly faces in his mirror. Before long, Sarah peeks her head into his room to check on his progress. She sees him making faces in the mirror. Sarah walks over and makes a silly face herself. When Schubert looks at her and laughs, she says, okay, silly face, keep getting dressed. You can wear these pants with front pockets or these pants with back pockets. Which pants would be best for you today? Sarah asks. Front pockets, says Schubert. I can carry more things in my front pockets. I'm sure you can, grins Schubert's mom as she leaves the room. Schubert slips his pants on and begins to think about all the things he could put in his front pockets. He begins to dance and sing. Marbles in my front pockets, elephants won't fit. Money in my front pockets, trees won't fit. Sarah peeks in and sees Schubert dancing and singing. She walks over close to him and waits until he makes eye contact with her. Then she says, Schubert, you have a choice. You can wear socks that go high on your leg or socks that stay low by your ankle. Which will it be? Schubert selects the high socks. Sarah waits until Schubert begins to put the socks on before she leaves. Schubert begins to think about high and low and starts to think, I can talk high, I can talk low, I can stretch high, I can stretch low, I can point high, I can point low. Once Sarah peeks into Schubert's room to check on his progress, he is dressed and ready for school. You did it, she exclaims. You put on your blue shirt, your pants with the front pockets, and your high socks. Way to go, you did it. Schubert beams with pride as he heads off to school with his sister, Sophie. His teacher, Mrs. Bookbinder, greets him at school. She is wearing an apron with little pictures on it. Her face lights up when she sees Schubert. Mrs. Bookbinder says, good morning, Schubert. You have a choice this morning. Would you like a high five, a pinky hug, or a snake hug this morning? He decides on a snake hug. In class, Schubert sees Big Benny, the beetle, sitting in bewilderment in front of a pile of books. What's up? He asks. I can't do it. I have a mess of books to put back on the shelves, sighs Big Benny. No worries, mate, Schubert replies in an Australian accent. You can handle 
handle it. Just break it down with choices. See, you always have a choice. You can start with this pile here or that pile over there, Schubert says. Which will you start with? Big Benny picks a pile and begins his task with ease. Big Benny looks over and sees the ant triplets arguing. He says, hold up, you have choices. You can work together to solve your problem or you can ask for help. Which would you like, solving or asking for help? Help, they say in unison. Gladly, says Big Benny, I'm glad to help. Schubert watches his friends being successful and begins to sing his song. Hooray, hooray, what a glorious day. Hooray, hooray, I was successful today. Hooray, hooray, when I lost my way, choices helped me know what to do or say. 